In this video, I'll explain how to set row and column names of a data frame without knowing the dimensions of this data frame. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in the video, I will show you an example. And this example is based on the data matrix that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new data matrix is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that we have created a new matrix object with four rows and five columns. However, you can also see that the row names and the column names have not been assigned to this matrix yet. So let's assume that we want to assign row names to this matrix without knowing the number of rows in our matrix. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line five. And in this line of code, I'm first applying the row names function to our data set. And then I'm assigning to this a numerical sequence, which is ranging from the value one to the number of rows in our data set. So in this case, we are using the nrow function to extract the number of rows from our data set so we don't have to specify the number of rows of our data set manually. So if you run line five of the code, our data matrix is updated, as you can see by running line six of the code. So after running this line of code, the updated version of our data set is shown in the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, the rows of our data matrix have been renamed. So now the row names of our data matrix are called one, two, three, and four. However, at this point, you can also see that the column names of our matrix are still empty. So if we want to assign column names to our data set, we can apply the code that you can see in line eight. And in this line of code, I'm applying the call names function to our data set. And then I'm assigning to this the code that you can see at the end of line eight. So in this part of the code, I'm using the paste zero function to create our call name. And within the paste zero function, I'm specifying a prefix of our column names. So in this case, I want to call our column names, call one, call two, and so on. And then at the later part in the paste zero function, I'm using the end call function to return the number of columns in our data set. So if you run line eight of the code, our data set is updated once again, and we can see that by running line nine of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have now also changed the column names of our data set, because now the columns of our data set are called call one, call two, call three, call four, and call five. So in this video, I have explained how to set row and column names without knowing the dimensions of a data frame or as shown in this tutorial of a data matrix. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.